Hi, you're watching Uzma Yakub at Scott Beauty TV. Eid Mubarak to everyone out there, um, especially from myself and the Scott Beauty team. This is the official Eid tutorial. Now, this makeup look, I have. Um, I did actually put something out there on Facebook to and Twitter to ask people what their their requests are for Eid, and I've been getting loads and loads and loads of requests for multicolored outfits with like silver or gold. So they'll be like gold, green, and and um, I don't know, pink like I've done and you know, different different combinations. So what I've done is I've come up with a look which I'm hoping that everyone can manipulate to the outfits that they're wearing because one thing I've noticed is that everyone's wearing colourful outfits with either gold or silver. Um, so basically with this look I've used a medium colour, a dark colour and then a silver or gold. So you just replace that with the colour that you're actually wearing. Okay, now some colours, some people's outfits clash with each other, the colours clash and that's kind of become quite fashionable right now. So the look that I have created is so to make those colours work with each other rather than the traditional the traditional style. So, hope you guys enjoy this. I have actually um, done my hair as well, so there's a hair video to go with this and I've also um, jeweled myself up. Now I've gone for the whole raided my Indian jewellery box look, so everything's multicoloured. I <laughs> uh, hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. Okay, so you can see that I've already got my powder underneath to catch any fallout. I've applied that there because I've got my base on already. Um, and also uh, because I'm using quite bright colours, okay? Now, if you're using any other colours, just remember that um, one is going to be act as the dark, one's going to act as the medium, and then the, the gold or silver that you use um, is going to act as the light, okay? I'm going to start off with some um, green pencil. I've decided to start off totally different to how I usually start, and I'm going to just apply this under my eyelid, not my eyelid, sorry, under my waterline. Okay, so I've applied this line underneath here, like so. Now again, if you're using other colours, this could be any colour, okay? And I am going to draw a line going upwards, and this is where my eyeshadow is going to follow. Okay, if you need to hold that you can and if it's not that prominent it doesn't matter because you know we could go back in there later that's just our guideline okay so we've done that there the next thing I'm going to use is a sculpt book smoke and rouge prep and primer okay this is going to act as my primer now I'm going to get my green and I'm just going to use my fingers you can use a brush if you want I'm just going to dab this towards the end. That's that. Don't apply a lot. You don't need to apply a lot with these primers. They're so they're fantastic. I'm going to go into my pink and I'm going to apply that in my inner corner. Now, don't get confused with the four colors. The whole point of the four colors is for correctors mainly. Uh, but they also kind of, because this works as a really good primer, um, you know, you could use different, the different colours for the different type of shadows that you're going to use, um, so they stand out a lot. So if you can see that, I've just kind of brought that to my inner corner and taken it out. You can use a brush if you want. Okay, so that is my um, eyelid primed, okay? Now I'm going to use the Sculpt Beauty Double Stack Palette. now. This is one of our fantastic deals for Eid. Um, you know, so fantastic, fantastic Eid present. I think we've gone more than half price down, okay? So if you wanna grab one of these before Eid, you still can do it, okay? Um, I think the last orders are for Thursday, so go and check that out. Now the greens that I'm gonna use is I'm gonna use this green here, which is like a medium parrot type green and then I'm going to use um, this darker forest green next to it which, which is a little bit metallic it has a little bit of glitter in it okay so get that onto your brush I've got your my medium green onto my brush like so tap off the excess make sure you tap off the excess and all we're going to do is tap this in you're looking straight ahead and you're just going to tap this in okay so remember if you're, I don't know, got like a 
red blue combination going on this is where your medium blue should be going okay so your medium color goes here well sorry your your darker color with the with the second the dark the color that you're going to use as the darkest always have this you got to choose two colors yeah right so you, if, if i'm going for a blue i'll have a medium blue and then i'll have a darker blue like a navy blue to um just to create some shadow with it okay so then we're going to go into our darker green get a smaller brush tap off the excess and we're going to create the edge of our shadow just take that in a little bit and just drag this out totally okay get your other green brush and just blend this line in Okay, what we're going to do is go into our highlighter. The highlighter that I'm going to be using is this colour right here, which is like a creamy, light cream gold. Okay, so get that onto your brow bone. And bring that into your eyeshadow. going to go back into that color to do our inner corner in a little while okay so then we've done that now we want to go into a um, our pink okay we're going to start off with a base pink first okay and the pink that I'm going to be using is this dusty pink okay so, so whatever color is going to be your medium color use a lighter tone of that color so get that on your brush and what I'm going to do is I'm going to start from this side and as you can see I'm just start from this I haven't gone right to the inner corner and I'm taking this out and blending it in with my line yeah and taking it out slightly this is just to start introducing the pink and start blending colours together okay so you've got that there Okay, now we're going to come back to that in a minute. What we are going to do is we're going to go into our metallic shade. So for me, I'm going to go into a golden brown. For you, you might have, you know, a, a silver complementing your outfit. So, you know, go into a silver at this point. Okay, but I'm going to be using this golden brown there. I really do like this colour. It's a really nice colour. The great thing about this palette is it's got metallic colours in it as well. So just apply a little bit of that and I'm just going to take it into my green. Yeah? I'm going to take it into my green and pull it out. Remember, you should be controlling the brush. Okay? So I've got some over there. Remember when I said that we're going to go back into this the highlighter colour. I'm going to do that right now. I'm using the same brush. Like so. Okay, right. So we've done that there. And then we're going to just basically go back into our pink. Now, I'm going to be using two pinks. I'm going to be using this dusky dark pink, which is just a darker tone of the pink that I used before, and just a teeny weeny bit of this bright pink. Okay, so get that on your brush, tap off the excess, make sure you do because a lot of colour comes off these. And as you can see, just very lightly, you know, I'm just going over that, that, the front bit of it. Let's just check. Going over my um, eyelid area. So get that there and just touch the brush into your other pink and I'm just going to have that at the start there. So it kind of creates this kind of graduated feel. Okay, take off everything on your brush and 
just blend this in okay and that is probably the top of our eyes practically done in terms of the shadow okay so put the palette down for a second we're going to go back into our pencil okay and we are going to just define this line again with this lighter color now by purpose I have used a lighter color because I just think it looks nice you know so you can use like say a gold or a silver or if you've got pink in your eyes you could go for purple it's you know it's totally up to you you know a lot of um, traditional outfits now are coming in really bright bright colors really different colors so you know you could really go to town and experiment as well okay so I think I am happy with that we're gonna go into our eyeliner now obviously I am going to use the Sculpt Beauty Jai line because I think it's amazing um, but it's up to you, you know, whatever you feel comfortable with. I have really long days, so when I wear um, this eyeshadow, uh, sorry, this eyeliner, it doesn't come off, and that's what I love about it. Okay, waterline. If you're not a fan of putting eyeliner in your waterline, you could just leave this bit out. Okay, and we're going to just create the thinnest line underneath yeah and just stop that because we don't want to lose any of that lovely green that we've put on now same with the top really thin and then when you get to the end you're just going to follow this line up join this up. Now you don't have to make this very thick. If you are going to use something else, make sure you use um, like a liquid eyeliner or um, don't use the ink pens because we're going to do some blending with this and it's important that you have some sort of give in whatever you use and I think I'm happy with that okay so now we've done that what we're going to do is we're going to get a little bit of black on our brush tap off the excess and we're just going to just blend this the eyeliner upwards yeah so we're using what's on our brush which is a little bit of the black eyeliner along with um, the eyeliner that we've just applied sorry wait, I don't know if I said that right we're using the eyeshadow that we applied on the brush with the eyeliner that we've already applied okay we're just blending this in okay and then we're going to do the same to the bottom and when you get to the end we're just going to gradually take this into our other our top liner but we're not actually creating a um, blatant line it's like a shadow okay and then we're going to go back into this and make sure that this still stands prominent there you go there you go there's your eyeshadow which you could do with any colors now I've complemented this whole look with this pink lipstick and pink blusher um, but go with the color that 
um, the colours that you're using in terms of your lipstick and your and your blusher okay so if you're going for like a nude with like a brown undertone or a red undertone go for like a bronzer and like maybe a nudie type lips um, with the you know the, with the same type of undertone okay don't do the clashing thing yeah like bronzer with pink lips you know it doesn't always look good okay unless you're using a bronzer with a pinky undertone okay so yeah I've done this um, my lips this way and my blush this way and um, yeah that's that's my look I'm gonna go with my eyelashes come back and show you the finished look okay as you can see I have completed my eye makeup and eyelashes make a big difference to this look actually to any traditional kind of look you know eyelashes do make a big difference um, you can actually wear this as a bridal look as well or reception look okay so I hope you guys enjoyed that and I, I really do hope that um, you're able to grasp the concept of the medium and the dark color um, complemented with the gold or silver because that's a, a lot of um, traditional outfits have gold and silver complementing them and then they usually have one colour or two colours okay so I kind of hope that you guys have grasped that concept and can do this eye makeup using any of those colours or anything that you guys are wearing because you know it was a real shame that I had so many requests of different colour combos okay so I tried to be able I tried to use two colours um, to kind of help everyone out um, with kind of uh, manipulating this look to suit their own outfits okay now as you can see my hair is done as well um, I did actually say that I'm going to show you guys how I did this hairstyle which was in the previous uh, tutorial one of the previous tutorials that I've done um, you guys loved my hairstyle so I thought you know let me show you guys how it's done for you it's very very simple um, okay so there's a link to the video in the description box below if you're watching this on YouTube or on our uh, Facebook uh, or if you're watching it on our website okay so make sure you check that out it's about five ten minutes long well I hope it's not longer than that but it's about five ten minutes long it's really really easy okay now if you're watching this on YouTube you can actually leave your feedback below you can also um, you know click like if you like the you know if you like the tutorial and also subscribe to the channel right there's a subscribe button down here and there's a link down here as well yeah subscribe to the channel tell us what you guys think and um, you'll be the first one to get all the notifications and whatnot if you're on iPhone then you could download the free iPhone app by Sculpt Beauty it's revolutionary it's absolutely free and you get tutorials straight to your phone what more can you ask for okay um, also everything that I have used you can actually buy from sculptbeauty.com forward slash shop we deliver worldwide guys wherever you are in the world we deliver to your doorstep so you don't really need to do much other than log on okay so um, yeah go and check go and check out what we've got on on in store also, the Eid shop. If you're based, if you're in the UK and you're ordering for Eid, last orders Wednesday, Thursday, latest to guarantee that you get them for um, Sunday or Monday. Um, okay, so make sure you get your Eid orders in. Um, there's some really, really good offers on there at the moment as well, and 10% of anything that you've spent on the Eid shop goes to um, charity. So it's a really, really good cause. It goes to authors in the, uh, a charity that I support and uh, feel very, very strongly about. Um, that's it. If you're social butterfly, facebook.com forward slash sculptbeauty, twitter.com forward slash sculptbeauty. Follow us and um, join us and join our movement. Um, it's all about you guys, you know. Um, and that's it for me today. I will go have a, a very, very, very happy eat, okay? Make sure you eat loads. Eat loads, okay? Eid for me is about chilling with family and eating, you know, that's all I do all day, so I'm really hoping that you guys do the same, you can go to the gym on the next day, it's all good, okay, that's it from me today, go check out the hair video, right, um, I will see you soon.